The way we divide rational expressions is exactly the same way that we divide fractions. We take the first fraction and we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this is equal to 3x plus 12 divided by 4x times the reciprocal of this guy. So we have the 2x and the x plus 4 goes on the bottom. The way we proceed from here is exactly multiplying rational expressions. So we multiply across the top and we multiply across the bottom. So we have 2x times 3x plus 12 divided by 4x times x plus 4. Now before we do any, do any cancelling, although we can cancel the x's here, and we can cancel the 2 with one of the 2's and the 4, I prefer to factor all of my, um, my expressions completely. Okay, So this 3x plus 12 can still be factored because it has the greatest common factor of a 3. So if I pull a 3 out of 3x plus 12, I'm left with an x from this. And then we're left with a twelve, a 4 if we take a 3 out of the 12. And then we still have 4x times x plus 4 on the bottom. Okay, so now we're ready to simplify. We're ready to cancel the like terms from the top and the bottom. So 2 is a factor of the top. 4 has 2 as a factor in the bottom. So this 2 cancels with one of those 2s and leaves us with a 2. This x is a factor on the top, and this x is a factor on the bottom, so those guys cancel. Um, before I do any cancelling, I think I'll clean up a little bit. So on the top, the 2 is gone and the x is gone, so we're left with 3 times x plus 4. And on the bottom, we have left a 2 from here and the x plus 4. The last thing to do is to cancel the x plus 4, that's a common factor of the top and the bottom. And we see that this is equal to 3 halves. Now let's do a slightly trickier one. We'll do x squared minus 6x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 2x. And then we'll divide that rational expression by 3x minus 12. Okay, so again, the first step is to take the first expression and multiply by the reciprocal of the second expression. So we can view 3x minus 12 as being 3x minus 12 over 1. So when we take its reciprocal, we get 1 divided by 3x minus 12. Okay, so now we have the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now we're ready to uh, multiply across the top and across the bottom. So the top is x squared minus 6x plus 8 times 1 is x squared minus 6x plus 8. And the bottom we have x squared minus 2x times 3x minus 12. Now we have to factor everything. So let's start with x squared minus 6x plus 8. Okay, it's our regular old trial and error type of factoring. So we have two sets of parentheses. x squared needs to be the product of the two first terms. So we have an x and an x. 8 needs to be the product of the last terms, positive 8. And the outside plus the inside needs to be negative 6x. So if we have negative 4 in one and negative 2 in the other, it gives us exactly what we want.
Now let's work on the x squared minus 2x. The very first thing we want to notice here is that there's an x that's a factor to both of these terms. So the greatest common factor of this guy right here is an x, and we want to pull that out. So if we pull an x out of x squared minus 2x, we're left with an x from the x squared, and we're left with a minus 2 from the minus 2x. Oops. And we have the 3x minus 12 still. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is notice here in the 3x minus 12 that we have a greatest common factor of a 3. So we have to pull that out. If we take a 3 out of 3x, we have an x left. If we take a 3 out of negative 12, we have a minus 4 left. Okay, so now we have everything factored, and we're ready to do the canceling. So, we have x minus 2 as a factor on the top, x minus 2 as a factor on the bottom, so those two guys cancel x minus 4 is a factor on the top, and x minus 4 is a factor on the bottom, so those two guys cancel. Both terms in the top canceled, and what that means is that we're left with a 1 there. Okay, nothing ever just goes away. And in the bottom, we're left with an x times a 3. It's kind of a long bar there, so let me rewrite it. 1 divided by 3x is what our final answer is.